Oh boy. So it's Alpha Talk. This is it's episode five. I was wrong. We had, we, we had done we had done one more than I said last time. So I was wrong. Okay. About I forgot about the GameStop episode. Legendary. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So do you have a bed frame? Uh, I have a bed. I have a loft, like an actual built in. Okay. Loft. So yeah. you didn't have the option. Would you have gotten one if you had the option? I've gotten rid of bed frames. I hate them. Yeah. I actually have a vendetta against them because mm, in my mom's tell. house, like growing up, there's fucking. She always like, oh, look at this antique bed frame. And I'm like, and I had like crazy fucked up allergies and sinus shit for like years. And then I looked behind one day and it was just black mold all about I was sleeping nice. behind black mold. Like, so I'm like, fuck this shit. Got rid of it like the next day, like perfectly fine. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Black so mold just, matters yeah. though. Yeah. 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 It sure but the, <laughs> it'd be funny if yeah. the apartment manager was like, I just simply can't get rid of it. Um, not yes. during these times. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any other five, any five other ago, mold. Maybe. Yeah. Any other mold. I got yeah. you. But Great mold, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just sorry. And uh yeah, well, and I'm I'm out of the game. So like a lot of times when I see uh, we'll get to the video in a minute. I'm out of the game. I'm I've been I've been married and in a long-term relationship since my early 20s really. Uh, honestly since like late after high school. And uh so there's a bed frame long story short uh i didn't have an option didn't have a choice however i don't have to maintain any part of it yeah I, my yeah, job good. is to go in the bed sleep you know what i mean wake yeah. up step out of it um that's that's what it should be there for yeah essentially yeah yeah I mean, well no... i just i mean i don't have to like oh let me change the sheets i don't yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah, changed yeah. they're changed yeah. i sleep that's in a good. hotel for all i know yeah and uh and Bad. so yeah. yeah that happens and and like but, but, but the obsession with bed frames is very funny because this video that we have, this is uh, I, oh, from TikTok, shocker. And uh, it's, it's, this, uh, it's this, I don't know the pronouns, but I'll, I'm just going to, I'm going to go on a limb, say she, her for this one. And yeah. uh, uh, her big thing is like men don't get laid because they don't have a bed frame, I think is her thesis <laughs> here. Uh, she's probably working it out for her uh, PhD. But the, uh, yeah, there's a layer to this, and I'm just gonna play the video, uh, and and here we go. Men are so quick to be like, I don't know why women don't want me. I have so much to offer. Show me your bed frame. So this is my bed frame. Uh, it's a loft <laughs> bed. Uh, I built it myself. I've got my desk and my computer underneath on this side, and then I've got my bookshelf on the other side. The reason that I wanted to build a loft style bed mm -hmm. is because i wanted to make room for all my legos hell yeah and then i have King. other legos on this side look at that fucking and i also damn. wanted to be able to work out in my room so what's wrong with this equipment and like i've got i've got plenty of space so that's nice the only bad part about having a loft bed is i have to use this sketchy step ladder to get all the way up to the top <laughs> now i do have two pillows on top as well as my second sheet so i have a full set of sheets my pillow um i do sleep in a sleeping yeah, bag it's because a hog i don't pillow, like to make my bed in the morning <laughs> so the sleeping bag works and i do have a third <laughs> pillow but that's my cuddling pillow um and i like brown women so the brown uh, pillow hey. works for that hey your choice so bud your like, choice that's did your you say choice. he likes brown women yeah, yeah. what dude? yeah yeah <laughs> it is, dude, Look, yeah let, okay let's cut off the last three seconds of that video if that's the problematic yeah. part right okay sure i don't think it is personally pick whatever pillow you want oh no i wasn't saying problematic yeah like fucking yeah dude yeah. and then the sleeping bag you force some clothes you know this, this the only thing is is why yeah. couldn't you build steps you built oh. that loft but you're like i can't build like a sick wooden thing like yeah. what you have right there you can't I'm build, build no that. i'm so this thing came with but I'm going to build like a straight cedar yeah, built in. I just mean he thing. has the skill to do it. Yeah. So I have to use this fucking. Uh, yeah. like, you should like, build a ladder out of Legos. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Something tells funny. me it wouldn't ah, support ow, his, dude, The yeah. way his voice was, wouldn't support him. And uh, the, uh, just, 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 just a prediction. But, the, uh, yeah. but it's funny because like that's always a dunk from women. And I've like been seeing that for years years like where it's like Psh, you want to fucking women don't give me yeah, any dude. play because you know i don't but you don't even have a bed frame and it's like dude there's chicks yeah. that don't have bed frames 100 yeah. i knew it i knew uh i knew a chick like fucking badass hot chick dude she slept on the, the hardwood floor dude, not mm -hmm. even like a thing like literally the hardwood floor she's like i just like this dude it's like okay that's what azalea banks yeah. does but uh Oh, word. Yeah. Azalea Keep Banks was like, yeah, she was like, my, my posture, which stop. Yeah. I don't know. That's like something someone in their early 20s says, 
You hit 30, dude. You wake up with like fucking like you need a copper fit sleeve on your fucking leg. And stuff. Like, like, man, fucking icy hot when yeah. you wake up out of bed. Shit. Why? No, but why are wo- always women's owns just like revealing how shallow they are? Or like, oh, you want real women? You need yeah. a bed frame. It's, it's like what the fuck? The, yeah. the, the last yeah, 10 years of like relationship yeah. studies, whatever field has been created by like shitty like California universities and, and New York universities mm. is yeah. has just been like women are allowed to like keyhole their prospects on men yep guaranteed oh, yeah and in a relationship and uh-huh. men have to just be like down with whatever yep yeah totally dude it, yeah, it's, it's really on. funny they have yeah. to they have to be like like a man could be like i don't know she just doesn't look good oh why is it because you're da, 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 da? like oh is it yeah. is it because the shirt she's wearing is it because uh well did you know that she smells like shit because the where you know because of this and you're like oh her ph oh, level yeah. and the, it's like fuck maybe i just you know, the count ph level <laughs> yeah i hey i've seen that too so Dude, or the countless examples of of like why you bother shame if you do like you know you should love all and then like their tinder bio will be like got to be over five eight or some shit you know what i mean yeah. like shit like that yeah which is fine but don't make it go both ways you yeah. know what i mean no you yeah, I, exactly. like i i have a high yeah, preference like, too i if you're over five seven i'm out <laughs> i don't yeah. i don't like tall chicks and i'm and i'm all six right. feet tall all right respect Respect. yeah no yeah. it's just my it's my thing like i just i mm-hmm. again if i i don't want to look eye to eye i like to look down to women whatever that says about me whatever <laughs> Shit. you heard it here <laughs> yeah. i like to look down Blood on women rocket. literally yeah. look down on women yeah and then never and i'll never look up to a woman <laughs> no but you know what yeah, the dude. problem is is like the fucking i've ne- the, the i always see tiny dudes with like tall chicks too like, yeah they, they love them they can't they can't mm-hmm. get enough yeah and, and, but then they're like i feel bad for those guys because then now the these women are like oh it's got to be six feet but it's like fine to have a preference but w- the, first the off, real way to do it is if you're a short dude you find a chick with that in her bio and still still smash then you're yeah. like king you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. yeah and then you can just That's reply right, like and then you could just dunk on her at any moment yeah on the internet yeah. like she could just be like it's got to be six foot got to be you know this and that and body type this got to and, and like the other thing i i've, I've noticed about <laughs> of how women lately is like the post like feminist movement which uh, again i'm glad you're a lot of women are going away from like the liberal feminist movement like it's that's good pop, to me. pop feminism yeah like yeah, yeah like that's Buzz a good one feminism. i like that one yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah exactly yeah. getting away from that um you know because they felt kind of scorned by it the same way people get scorned by a lot of the uh, stuff from like liberalism where nothing really came of it yeah. you realized it wasn't really that was just kind of a reactionary phase in your life but then they keep going with the yeah. reactionary like overcorrection where they're like no nah, i want to be like yeah. i want to be like baking pies in the 50s and and it's yeah. like yeah just cook just learn to cook like it's not it's they like they like the fucking they like the aesthetic they like the aprons and the vibe and the makeup and shit aesthetic and they they don't so much like not being able to have a credit card and getting beat by your husband i tweet 57 times a day but i want to only speak when spoken to like yeah yeah, all right right. sure yeah and and and, which is funny because like i i it's weird i have like my wife is like quote unquote what do they call on the internet like a trad wife like kind of is like she cooks she cleans like She's mm-hmm. like kind of in like I was kind of like on the like well you know the me too thing back in like 2016 she was like stop yeah <laughs> uh, no, I, I owe the world to her because I would have gone kept, down a rough path dude my hair would be pink right now and oh, and God. Yeah, yeah she like them bro you be like, fucking you be, yeah yeah they Glenn yeah. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Glay Glay Glenn <laughs> Gay Glenn <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Glam, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but, you gotta yeah, put that in your fucking butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah he looks down uh, on women, dude, and his pronouns are gay, Glenn. <laughs> gay but Glenn. that's the whole like, no, dude. Yeah, trad, trad con shit is such a con. It's such it's like so dumb. Like it's the complete well, opposite end of the spectrum. Like it's dumb. It's just as bad. Like, yeah. Just, why can't you both like I'll never be and like and you know the whole with when you're like. When you're like, man, a lot of this like gender studies stuff is dumb as fuck. People will be like, would well, you think women shouldn't have been allowed to have a credit card? You're like, no, what the f-? like this is good. What got some pushback you know on I mean? that? No, uh, but yeah, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> dep- <laughs> depends case by case based. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but you know what I'm saying. It's like fucking, you know, I don't know. It's like if you get any, if you push back on any of it at all, and you're like, hey, this doesn't make sense. Like a lot of this, and then you're immediately they just put you into that category like an mra dude or yeah you know, or something like that but but also yeah, like dude, it's I, like you're 22 
like because I, I i do have to realize like a lot of these debates i do think they're a lot younger than you and i like the people like talking about this like that are overcorrecting yeah. and oh i'm a trad wife now and i'm 22 and it's like well yeah w- if this was the 50s you probably should have had a kid by now you know what i mean but it's not yeah it's a different well, it's a and, different era and like you know we went to bay area california liberal public school still yeah. doesn't hold a candle to like what the zoomers are going through now absolutely school, not you know not we would candle. it would be considered like it would be considered yeah. a concentration camp but we'd then. be like fucking on glenn beck's show if we, if we you know we'd be like fuck he just this, called he just know? called actually speak of the devil yeah 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 <laughs> we'll be glenn there. beck need yeah yeah glenn but uh, Beckney. but um yeah and it's but i will say the the fastest twitter trajectory growth of followers is if you're a hot chick bacon pies uh, that's like, oh yeah dude it's a guaranteed I know I've, I used to follow who's that one it's like some blonde chick and like, that's all she does is like like the most basic tweets of like look at how dumb modern feminism you know just like that and um and she's just like fucking their growth curve is like boop, you know just straight up yeah, yeah. well People I remember there, there was one because like you know our side of Twitter is like super like ironically detached from everything and I'm glad that I'm able to be on twitter as much as i am and and not feel that way like i'm still yeah. able to just unplug and have like a lot of fun you know and and not yeah. like you know have 10 different like try to try to have like the the weird take all the time like yeah. about a, a really yeah. basic thing you know and uh i saw one tweet i didn't i never saved it because it would have been stupid if i did but like it was this one woman and she was like just like a conservative like midwestern woman in like her 20s and she was yeah. like uh lasagna in the oven game on and like fun being had it was like some something like that it was like that 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 format and like she was getting dunked on and i'm like she's happier than anybody oh yeah that is commenting Uh on this right now that's the yeah that is true yeah like you have totino's pizza rolls in the in the oven not 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 to to hate because those are fantastic but like like it's uh no but you know you're you're depressed when you eat them compared to like a freshly baked homemade apple pie no it's true i I don't eat them in like in in a you know I, I eat them and it, when it's it's think, like it's when you yeah. have a bad day you eat them and it's like okay this day wasn't as bad as i thought yeah yeah and i think it just this whole thing speaks to like you know like like dudes like a lot of dudes not all dudes but most dudes just like feminine women whatever that means you know and that that doesn't mean you have to be like a fucking tradcon but yeah like like you're like you're a woman you know what i mean it's it's you know look she, at my she, woman she over it. there look at my woman no nah, like trump yeah but she nails it yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> we got the best woman on our team yeah yeah fucking yeah. dude that's that's my favorite trump moment of all time the look at my, yeah <laughs> look the at best. this guy great guy great guy <laughs> he's like, <laughs> and he, he's like he's like if you pictured like a black trump supporter that's exactly you do straight think, up you know yeah 100 yeah. percent. and i like people were like oh that was contrived i'm like i don't think it was <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, not me. Yeah, not me. Yeah. I think it was. No, but you're no, your your lady nails it though. I think she's she she threads the needle. You know what I mean? She does. Yeah, she her... hit the like she hit the C gap perfectly with the fucking you know just like sure yeah sure exactly uh, and and yeah she she would she what she'll do is like like I show her a lot of the shit I see like on Twitter like she's not online or anything like but I, I show her the uh, yeah I have a girlfriend she goes to a different school that's like kind of what that sounds like yeah but <laughs> I uh, I show her the uh, like the stuff she's she's like they're fucking retarded like like just you yeah. and and like what and sometimes like whatever your take is online if you really like create like a just a master thesis about like relationships you're probably yeah. lonely it's not yeah, that hard yeah, yeah it really isn't yeah. that hard like it yeah. either works or it doesn't there's not a fucking huge template for all these people to follow and with the ba- bed frame yeah. thing let's go let's go back to the bed frame thing bed frames are very funny to me because there are women who like one still live with their parents that are saying this mm-hmm. where it's like you have a, the same bed frame you've had since you were five so uh you know yeah. that's the would you didn't get a chance to choose your bed frame and second of all yeah you you'll go you'll get fucked in a car <laughs> no judgment there <laughs> but don't act like every night that you lay with a man yeah, is gonna yeah. be on some victorian with the fucking the you, you ever yeah. dude when i met my wife like she had nine, those nine, she, i met my wife she had those fucking stupid like mosquito net things around the net uh, around the oh bed God, you ever see yeah. those Oh, oh yeah, they, not yeah. they weren't for mosquitoes. I'm just saying, she, I, I didn't pick yeah. her out of a village, but like the there was like this, <laughs> there was like this. Uh, uh, <laughs> when I bought when yeah. I bought my wife, let me tell you, she <laughs> yeah. I saw her, I saw her on this UNICEF box, and I just had to. And uh, <laughs> but she had one of those nets, and it's like 
and it was already like a <laughs> one person bed for like a tiny person and i'm rather tall so yeah. it's like fucking yeah it was a mess mm -hmm. but like well these women act like every time they like go to bed it's like fucking the birds open up the thing for like a disney movie and shit it's like no your shit doesn't look Yeesh. like that <laughs> Stop fucking, yeah what is that snow white like, or some shit yeah, yeah, yes fucking, exactly yeah. all trad women think it's snow white Dude, ho white dude. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. And, and and like yeah. it's like it's okay just a couple years ago you were like the feminist chick with flowers in her hair at fucking lana del rey concerts that's fine yeah that's mm -hmm. fine just you don't have to like pivot that hard and like like I, i've never been like like dude when like when my wife met me she was she never she never was like like she 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 bought low on me mm -hmm. you know what i mean like she bought yeah. low she knew yeah. like i was like okay he's a decent guy got a house break him you know what I mean? Yeah, it's fine. Got to got to get him up to date on a few things. Let's, let's get him a better job. Let's do this and that. Help him out through there. But she bought low. These women yeah. all want to buy high right now. That's the problem. And yeah. men do too. men. Men do this exact same thing. They want to buy. They want to buy high. Like, oh, yeah. They wanna, yeah. yeah they, they, and, no, it's the yeah, it's the secret of relationships for sure is to not you buy high. Then you're it's you can only go down. You know what I mean? And it's like and if you do go higher, it's like your dopamine receptors are fucking fried and you, you expect the world every day for, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then that high yeah. is not really that cool anymore. Exactly. Even if they never, yeah. even if they never dip off, like yep. you're just like, yep. even if they're just like yep. some fire ass, like 55 year old hot chick, you're just like, yeah, whatever, you know, like, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's exactly, I don't know. Like it, yeah. that, that stuff always bothers me. Cause like, I do feel like I'm, I'm like, you're just like trying to rationalize your loneliness. Yeah yeah you know it's and, an epidemic and dude it's fucking crazy. it's tough yeah. and i'm so glad yeah. that like i we had myspace when i first met my wife so it's like yeah it's a bit way different time you mm -hmm. were songs playing on the profiles if you, if you kids yeah. don't realize that and yeah. uh and yeah but nonetheless i just i thought that was crazy i said it's the main topic of the day is on twitter is bed frames today so yeah. i just uh I just wanted yeah. to go well that. there's a it's funny this is one of those things where because you know I'm, i guess my my two twitter spheres are are like crypto and uh our dumb ass shit that whatever we're in you know yeah. All, yeah you know and uh it's funny because like uh there's like a crossover now well there's a funny crypto meme meme going around of like have you seen that pic of the the guy in like the bare bedroom apartment and he just has a picture of the air mattress and then like the next picture is just him with like the most sparse bed frame it's just like barely off the ground you know yeah. so he graduated from an air mattress to like a platform bed basically right power move and then so so the caption everyone's putting is like and people said uh people said alt season doesn't exist basically yeah. like, like you know like, yeah ethereum, people, ethereum got him that fucking bed yeah frame, dude. exactly dude yeah yeah so and, like, and that's all funny i thought when you dude, said bear when you, i'm sorry yeah. when you said bear at first i yeah. thought it was like you were going to talk about the picture where the woman was doing the photo shoot with the bear oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's funny dude. Yeah, that yeah. was a good one that dude too. that that yeah. that was a uh oh, fuck i just got ink all over me this dumbass purple ink. whatever yeah yeah it happens yeah. man it's just a casualty yeah. of the uh uh of the pod man but yeah. yeah that one where the woman the woman is like taking a picture with the bear that's yeah. a that's always like this is i mean I'll, yeah i'll pull it up right now I, I have it right here that i wasn't even hating on that like people were yeah, hating dude, that was sick yeah like, first off the the bear like the bear fucked i mean we're, yeah. we know this and like that's that's dope dude <laughs> like that top left one dude <laughs> it's so good there, yeah like there's yeah. There, there i like how she's gonna be like that's art and you're like nah he fucked yeah like uh, that's that's all right and and Marietta, like, georgia dude yeah she, yeah oh wait that's last for that. and and she's she's hibernating with him right now i think yeah yeah so yeah she'll still. she'll wait she'll she'll wake up she'll she'll run home this is just a winter time relationship yeah that yeah. was that that was funny but like they're always like white people will be like this and i'm just like no they don't yeah like yeah, yeah i don't say i don't do that like nobody <laughs> nobody <laughs> yeah. nobody does yeah i just i love to just go in the forest and, and take do photo shoots with bears yeah dude yeah it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my blood can't help it yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and just it's a common, uh, common thing yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly that's a trad wife yeah. is what yeah. she was the pie's in the oven for the bear yeah 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 it's a <laughs> mince meat pie yeah, yeah. she's like bear. pie in the oven game yeah. on high yeah. bear hibernating <laughs> and, me uh, happy. yeah me yeah. happy but yeah um so yeah <laughs> gambling <laughs> gambling um it's uh it's going well mixed bag um because of the china communist party has been uh has been fucking with me i thought we were allies personally but i guess not me and not uh more. me and yeah. president uh g uh yeah uh, Gibran james 
fucked my parlay. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I broke my rule. I said I wasn't going to bet on LeBron anymore. I'm pretty sure I said it on this program. I wasn't going to even yeah. I bet it on him or against him. If I bet on That's against it, if I bet against him, he has a career game. He looks like he was yeah. a fucking Miami Heat LeBron. He looks amazing. Yeah. And then and then if I bet on him, he seriously looks like fucking like uh I like some guy at like Rucker Park, you know, play, like playing against NBA players. It's terrible. And and yeah. I, I just can't win with him. And I, I had a three team parlay. It was um and I don't remember exactly the specifics of the parlay, but two of them hit. Two of them hit. It was it was wonderful. And then the seven o'clock game hits. I go, Lakers got this. It's the Wizards. Like, you know, yeah. you know oh. the Wizards. It's not I, Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Right, fucking wizards, dude. Wizards, yeah. Wi- yeah, wizards have got me a few times too this year. Like I, I, I kind of yeah. need to stop betting against yeah. them too. But, but uh, no, and, and I didn't even take the points. I just I said Lakers went out. Wait, right. what town? What town are they in again? The fucking DC, DC dude. The the guy you just oh, lost yeah. money to on Joe Biden's death. Fucking is a Wizards fan. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh my god, dude. My yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. He the fucking that's. So, anyways, the LeBron ruins that one. They lose. They were up like the whole game. Lose it in the fourth quarter. So I'm like, God damn, yeah. that one loses. Then last night. Last night, I have uh, a three-team parlay. Two of them hit. Wizards. Two of them hit. Now, it wasn't – no, it wasn't the Wizards. I, no. I learned my lesson there, right? But I had lost on the Celtics, right, before. I, I had won a straight bet last night, which was cool. It kind of kept me afloat. Uh, I, I had the Cavaliers covering seven and a half. Uh, they had plus seven and a half against the Hawks. Five and zero oh in my last five bets against the Hawks. I'm just, I'm just chasing the Hawks right now. Oh, and, yeah. uh, uh, like, just whatever the Hawks do, I'm on the other side of it. Tell it, tell it right. burns me. And uh, so then the the good thing about this parlay is the bandage did get removed early. It wasn't because when you watch a parlay and the game started at different times, when two of them hit and then like the third one doesn't, it's like all day builds up and then you blow it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But the <clears throat> second game didn't hit. So like band aid yeah. got ripped off. The third game didn't matter. Third yeah. game ended up, ended up hitting. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I see. I see. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. But the second game, <sighs> Eastern Europeans shouldn't be allowed to play basketball anymore. Mm-hmm. there we go belong in prison yeah. luka Doncic. luka Doncic, guy is like a ben roethlisberger body he's like doughy as shit yeah <laughs> he's like 22 years old he looks like he's been smoking cigarettes since he was 10 <laughs> the guy's the guy's just a cold-blooded killer just daggers like all over the place uh, uh and the celtics like the celtics should have won that game like yeah. the celtics should have won that game they they came back they have all these miracle things like miracle and then luka Doncic steps back breaks my heart 0.1 seconds left he hits the dagger with and i'm like okay is there even 0.3 because you need i think you need 0.3 to get a shot off in the nba okay you need it needs to be at least 0.3 0.1 yeah can't happen it's not yeah. it, it, it might as well just blow the fucking horn there yeah, yeah. And, and and walk to the locker room lose yeah. that game and uh yeah like i said i i, I tweeted it last night I, I was live tweeting in a sports chat or i was like talking in a sports chat and i'm like yes let's fucking go like the la- the four messages were from me, no replies. It was just yeah. it was just let's fucking go. I needed this. It's lit. Yeah. Let's go. And then I was like, never oh, mind. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. Said, never mind. Mm-hmm. That was that. Yeah. That was what happens. Luka Doncic broke my heart. But they're playing. They're playing the fucking LeBron. Dude. No, this was Celtics Mavericks. Oh, two that's separate right, parlays. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I had, had these hit, and it, and and then I had yeah. a. I had a hockey parlay. I'm going low on all these, and I do have some wins. I'm not talking about my wins. I'm only talking yeah, losses yeah. right now. So right. I'm doing yeah. doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. But the uh, I could have been I could have been fantastic though. Like I could have been yeah. I could have like doubled the account with these. And uh, I had these two hockey uh, two team hockey parlay. I'm I'm hockey betting now. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so I had the Capitals over the Penguins uh, money line because mm-hmm. hockey spreads are always one and a half. Okay. Goals. I, it's like I haven't seen one higher. It's always yeah. one and a half. Okay. Um. So you got to win by two in hockey, which is, that's a lot. So I, I yeah. usually take just the money line, like two two goals in hockey is like, whoa, that's like yeah, yeah. That's two touchdowns in football. You're like, whoa. Yeah. And uh, so I took the Capitals beating the Penguins, and then I think it was I can't remember what team it was, but they were playing the Senator Ottawa Senators. Both okay. teams have a one goal lead in yeah. the third in the third period. This games are happening simultaneously. So it was the early cool. slate, the early puck drops. Then, <laughs> then uh. Both the games are tied, like within seconds of each other. I look at the both scores are tied. I'm like, fuck, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, fine. OT, two two game winners. Let's go. In my head, that's cope too, because in my head, I already know one of them's gonna lose. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, just, I'm, I'm coping. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, we're just gonna have two buzzer beaters. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna talk about yeah, this, this on Alpha yeah. Talk. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, fine. Yeah. yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Didn't work out. Both yeah. lost. Yeah. I just. Yeah. I mean, it didn't oh, matter. It was one. Yeah. Yeah. It just. It just bullshit. But like I said. Um, let's get to my bets tonight. Yeah. 
my bets what tonight, and then we'll get to your, you're going to teach me a theory that I feel like won't be as fun gambling, but it's going to be more profitable for me. So <laughs> but, uh, so today I'm uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. That uh, puck drops in. Ooh, uh, oh, it must be. Are they playing right now? No, there's no way. That's good. There's no way a hockey game starts at 2 o'clock on the West Coast. But uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, money line over the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, got that going. Nice. Um, I took so, – this is, this is how much of a degenerate I am. I just said I'm not betting on the Lakers anymore. I'm still betting on a player prop of the Jazz against the Lakers. So LeBron could still infect this. I'm still trying to find out how contagious LeBron's fucking disaster yeah. shit is for me to where he can, like, ruin another player on the other team's game for me. So I have yeah, Rudy yeah, Gobert, yeah. Uh, the COVID super spreader, the original COVID super yep. spreader of the NBA. Um, yep. have him over. So he – this is an interesting prop bet. I just took this because I wanted to see – because like, it looked fun. So – Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz will have over 28 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists combined. Damn. Okay. So he averages 13.3 points a game, 13.3 rebounds a game, and two assists a game. That's like 28. Word. So he just has to be yeah. a little bit better okay. than his average. A little bit better than his average. Lakers are yeah. missing Anthony Davis tonight. Gotta have a good game. Yeah, they're missing Anthony Davis tonight. They're big man. So I'm like, maybe he's just going to yeah. eat. Rudy Gobert's a big man. He might just clean the glass all night. That's what I'm yeah. hoping. I'm hoping he has 20 yeah, rebounds. Yeah. Like just, just something, Word. something like that. Final bet of the night, two-team parlay, Houston Rockets, and guess what? The fucking Boston Celtics. I haven't learned my oh, lesson. Oh, here we this, go. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is – I'm carrying the coffin right now. I'm carrying yeah. it. The Paul Bears, like, like I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, carrying dancing. it. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm dancing. We have not dropped the the, the coffin into the into the, in the pit yet. Yeah. If they lose tonight to the Atlanta Hawks, the only reason I took it is because, like I said, I'm 5-0 in my last five bets against the Hawks. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for the next AT just yeah. to, so we can see. Yeah now, I'm, yeah, now I'm excited for like the next one. Already. No, 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 no. You have yeah, my like, you have my word. If the yeah. Boston Celtics lose tonight, I will do like a live Periscope or some shit about yeah, the Boston Celtics, go. and yeah. I will shit on the city of Boston. Yeah, shit. I'm, maybe I'm I'll do it in the it. Discord. Maybe I'll do it in the Discord. Yeah, um, I'm here yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. So so this That's episode hilarious. will probably be up by then because it's yeah no yeah. I, I, like I said, I'm hoping that my Hawks Heat like uh well it's not a good analogy because there's no team called the heat but uh yeah, yeah. my hawk my red hot hawks bets yeah my hawks bets just overpower my boston hatred just hoping because mm-hmm. i have one on boston like a couple weeks ago so just hoping there's a little bit left on that yeah but uh, yeah houston over the cavaliers i like that a lot too so um yeah. cavaliers coming off a of back to how do you how do you pick hockey do you, do you follow I know, hockey i don't know no, nothing kinda, about it no nothing just, about it you just I find, right. two, yeah. I find two favorites i find out if they're when they last played so if i take a team that has like yeah if they have a couple days off i'm like okay they're fresh and they're favorite yeah I'll just take okay. them. So okay. I, I'm, I, this is, it's purely testing right now. I'm just testing yeah. out hockey guys in the discord. were like, Hey, I've kind of been doing good on hockey. I'm like, oh, yeah. let me check this out. I want to so, get, yeah. I want to get into hockey for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, to me, I, I just don't like sport that much, but it just, yeah. it is what it is. The playoffs are fantastic in hockey. It, yeah. It, yeah. It's one of the, it's, it's a sport where like, there's no more night and day difference between regular season hockey and playoff hockey than any other sport. Yeah. As electric as playoff football is, football Sunday still lit every time. Even yeah, regular uh-huh. season, like you know, playoff now, hockey is like ho- there's only sport. It doesn't happen often, but it's the only sport where you can have those breakaway last minute fucking yeah. game shootout goals. You know, it's yeah, fucking, just shootouts, yeah, exactly. like just just yeah. just legit. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, so that's 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 where I'm at yeah. tonight. Um, hoping they hit. Usually when I talk about it, they don't. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> the. Uh, it's funny, you like, like bet yourself. every yeah. show. No, I, I'm terrible on the show bets, and then I'll go on the streak, and I'm like, dude, next show, I'm gonna have some shit to talk about, and then it's like I lose, yeah. like right that day. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Fuck. of course. Yeah. yeah. So once it's we classic. do this for a yeah. living and we do a couple of these a week, I'm fucking like, I yeah, I'll be able to celebrate a little yeah. bit more. But um, or teach me about yeah. the Kelly Criterion, man. I need because I yeah, this is just a wait. So this is I'll share. Is it a? Oh, let me make you a host. Uh, yeah, yeah. Th- this is something like which basically doesn't tell you what to bet on it tells you how much to bet on right like how much to wager is that kind of what i'm saying exactly exactly yeah it's, okay. it's math it's one of my favorite oh, uh i'm out well i'm out yeah yeah but, uh, <laughs> yeah end of the episode uh, i loved right, gambling because it didn't involve math but all right let me know if is that shared no Hang on. uh come on yes yeah yeah sounds good sounds like a fucking small forward out of kansas yeah <laughs> kelly criterion checks in <laughs> yeah exactly. okay go ahead i'm on it all right yeah, so Kelly Criterion, this is a pretty good Wikipedia page too. A lot of them fucking suck, you know, but uh Yeah. Um well yeah, like well, well check this out. Yeah, like without looking at this, because they have a good example here. Yeah, I'm on an example. Yep. Yeah. 
you know, if you, if you have a coin that lands head 60% of the time and you got 25 bucks and you can place, it says here 300 bets, but let's say you could place an infinite amount of bets or whatever. Uh, how, how much would you, how much of that 25 bucks would you bet every time? Like, are you asking me to answer that as a rhetorical? Yeah. Just okay. like take a, take a guess on each, yeah. on each flip on each flip. Yeah. Like what percentage mm, of, I see of your account? And, and I'm going to win 60% of the time. Yeah. So of that, I would say $10. $10. Okay. That's pretty good. That's, um, I'm kind of uh, cheating cause I'm reading it, but yeah, but no, I, I, uh, what is that percentage? That's okay. Forty percent. Uh, okay, so I went. I went high. I needed to go twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty percent is 20%. the you want to do twenty percent. But anyway, so Kelly Criterion, yeah, is a way of position sizing your bets okay. for something with uh, relatively fixed odds, and uh, it's rad. It's it's definitely it's like the best. It's the optimal way to bet on anything okay. on blackjack, poker. Uh, Isn't this Nassim you know, uh, Talib's? Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he talks about it a lot. Yeah, I think yeah, I think he's into it. And this I, is one yeah, of those things. Come over his four masks. I know. Yeah, <laughs> but the, yeah, exactly. This is one of those things. You know, you can go pretty deep with this. Like, I'm I'm not an expert, but uh, um, but yeah, you can go pretty you can go pretty pretty deep into the weeds with Kelly Criterion. Uh-huh. But you know, if if you know uh, if you know your payout, so that's the thing when you when you're sports betting, when you're sports gambling you know what your uh your payout is always it's just that's built into the the right right yeah right calculates it for you what you don't know is your win percentage uh in the moment you don't know if you know another percentage of you know the percentage of if you're gonna win the next yeah but you're also not like the only thing i i'm and and i'm not Mm -hmm. trying to jump ahead of you here but like i'm not i'm betting on different teams all the time and not just heads and tails of a coin no, so so that's why you gotta like if you keep track of all your bets, and oh, you have a his, you have an, a and you have a, you know historically, your win percentage, right? Yeah. Um, which is why people should keep track of whatever they're gambling or betting on or trading or whatever. Um, then you know exactly how much to bet, and uh, you know to to reach optimal growth of your account. And when I mean optimal, like there's there's nothing better than this long term. Like you know there. There's no, you might get lucky a few times and grow a little bit faster if you go all in or do some crazy shit. Um, like if you're doing the 40% bet, you might come out ahead, you know, 25% of the time. Yeah. You might come out ahead faster than the Kelly criterion. But if you do it day in, day out, year in, year out, you will blow up your account compared to uh, compared to uh, the Kelly bet, basically. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just because if, you know, if, if the odds are, are correct. So the equation is, you know, you got F, which is the fraction. That's the Kelly. That's the fraction of your current uh, bankroll to wager. So, you know, if you got a million dollars, what fraction, what percentage of your bankroll are you going to wager? You got a million dollars and you, you risk $1 every time. That's good. That's low, right? That's that you're no, you're a psychopath. You should kill yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You're not risking enough to make a functional difference. You should just, not bad at all basically that's that's some that's some but, like guy living by himself with a nice bed frame yeah but are you gonna bet like a million dollars on one coin flip right no you could no. you could double it up but you could also lose lose it all right and blow it up all right so f is your fraction b is the net fractional odds uh received on the wager it says here um so you so know, it's, it's, it, it it that basically means your reward winning, winnings only no your winnings. not what you yeah. get gotcha okay yeah so if you bet 10 bucks uh and you get you get 14 back you're 10 plus four so your your b is going to be 0.4 basically yeah if you're you know if you bet if you have a crazy like we well, were talking about last time if you know if you if you're betting 10 and on like joe biden's tie and it comes back 100 then your b is 10 right yeah basically right because you're you're going 10 to one mm-hmm. basically and then P is the probability of the win. That's the important part, right? right. So, you know, on a coin flip, that's why this example is Well, that's kind of like why the, is. like, that's almost where the point spread comes into play. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Q, Q is just one minus P. Um, 
Pro, so P. Oh, Q. This is Q shit. Yeah, oh, exactly. I'm sorry, yeah. dude. I'm so yeah. Kelly Q. Now it's getting on. yeah. yeah. <laughs> now it's getting um, good. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So the one I um, I mean the one I'm familiar with is this last one right here. The or the one that I that I use. Mm-hmm. Um. F equals P parentheses B plus one parentheses minus one over B, right? So we can do an example really quick of if, you know, let's say you have, okay, like my like my trading. If I do if I do binary options, I can do uh, my P uh, or my my B is point uh, eight uh, five basically, right? Where if I bet a dollar, I'll get eighty five cents in winnings. Right. But if I if I lose, I lose the whole dollar. That's, that's minus. Right? That's like basically minus one fifteen. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, so my, that's like what like normal money line bets are in sports. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like for favorites. Of, for favorites. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's rad. Yeah. So yeah, if I, you know, or yeah, ten bucks, I'll win eight point five. That ten turns into eighteen point five. Mm-hmm. Or if I lose it all, then yeah. So. Uh. 8 point, or 0.85 plus one right here. Uh, 1.85 times P, which is our probability of a win, minus one, right? So uh, over B, over that that 0.85 basically, right? Yeah. So pick a probability, like from zero to 100%. Uh, like 60, a good probability. 60, 63. All right, 63%. I'll just do this math uh, really quick right here. Um, so our P is 0.63. Okay. That's your probability. Uh, times 1.85. Right. Right. That would be what you won. Your your yeah. B, your B. Mm-hmm. Minus one all over the so that's isn't, it, isn't it B plus one? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, B, 0.85 plus one. 1.85. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All over 0.85. All right. Yes. So let me just do this math. Uh let's see. And this tells you what you what you should wager. Yeah, 0.63 times 1.85 is 1.1655 minus 1. So that's 0.1655. That's the top of the equation. Mm-hmm. 1655 divided by 0.85 RB divided by B divided by 0.85 equals 0.1947. So basically 19% is a good percentage of my of, account. of my account that I yeah. have. Okay. So if, if I'm sure that I can maintain a 60%, 63% edge, 63% mm-hmm. win rate um, on the, you know, in a, yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, you know, 85, that's a pretty good payout, you know? You yeah. Know, oh yeah. It, you know, 85% on a dollar. Um, but that's a, that's a step, but like the one question I have is like, yeah. You know, most gamblers, people that like truly enjoy gambling, right? Yeah. It might be different with trading, but with gambling, like you don't want to just bet one game. No, you so know? that's yeah, yeah. So what yeah, would you with, would you prorate? Is there a way to fucking prorate that? You just or, average it you would just average it all out. You know? And then you would you would take that 90% and spread it over a few games. Is that what you would do? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. That was mm-hmm. my question. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that, that's kind of that's kind yeah. of what I do. I'm just not that exact. I kind of just go like yeah, yeah. Okay, like my my the way I do it, like because I'm not a math guy at all, so like I just go, okay, I have this much. Let's say I have 50 units left in my in my yeah. bank. I'll be like, I don't want to go below 20 today. Yeah, you know, and that's yeah. that's kind of what I do. So like, yeah. yeah, obviously that's more than the percentage I should be doing, but yeah, exactly. No, well, 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 it gets interesting because um, you know, if you're gonna be doing this for life, right? Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, so our our uh, our example is pretty good. Like right here, we have a uh, gambler sixty percent chance of winning, and the gambler receives one to one odds, which is called an even bet, right? Where B mm-hmm. is just one. So it's like you know you win, you lose a dollar, win a dollar, basically. Right, right, right. Uh, gambler should bet twenty percent of the bankroll. F equals point mm-hmm. two. Um, and this is important. If the gambler has zero edge, in other words, if uh if the probability of a win is the same as the probability of, probability of the loss, you shouldn't be betting. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah but if with an even bet uh, mm-hmm. with an even bet, but if you, if you have a 10 to one fucking, uh, you know, if you have a 10 to one uh, bet, right. Where you, yeah. you know, you, you lose, 
you know, you, you know, you, you lose, you only win 15% of the time, but that one time you win, you, you win like 10 to one, it's still worth it to bet. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And course. some people trade that way. They, they'll like lose, lose. Lo- That's how Nassim Taleb trades. They'll take like small loss, small loss, small loss, small loss, big win. And he, he sets it up to where he gets like a big win every once in a while, like a huge win is what it that is. It just keeps yeah. on running. Like that's his style. To that's kind of how like, I. That's how I do it. It's just I realize that you know Nassim Tlaib might have a certain coin or a certain fucking yeah. stock that he doesn't like. My stock is LeBron that I don't fucking like. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and fuck fuck LeBron. No. Fuck fuck G. Fuck G yeah. Din. But President G Din. And, <laughs> and 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. All that. But anyway, sorry. Now there is yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the um now there's something there's a couple more things to this where. Um, do you know what variance is? And have you ever heard of variance in gambling? Mm, I mean, n- uh, n- no. I mean, there's probably a, like a way well, different ever, nickname for it that, that you know. <laughs> you ever you ever been on like a win streak in no sports? sports? Oh, yeah, but, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you ever been on like a hot streak? And you're yes. like, all right, time to load up. I'm last I'm hot. week. Yes. And then once once you're hot, you load up and you lose. Yeah. You just gave give back what yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right? that, that's yeah. every time I win. Yes. So that's variance. That's where. You know, if you average out over the month all your bets, it'll be a certain percentage, but it won't be like every single bet you take has those odds. You'll have you have hot streaks and cold streaks, right? Mm-hmm. And um, uh, so the key is to, well, it's trippy because like what you can do, what most people do is you can bet a percent. So like we found out our F, right? Our Kelly criteria, 19% yeah. for, for our thing right there. So for our 63% odds. Um that's good uh but the thing is is you most gamblers overestimate they're over optimistic right oh yeah they want because they want to be you know they want to be correct right and um especially when there's a a game being played in front of you exactly yeah no so exactly yeah so and so what you can do is you can take a percentage of that 19 percent to be slightly more conservative so a a lot of people do what's called half kelly Right. Where right. you you'll bet, you know, you'll bet uh, nine, nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, percent. And what that does. Well, two things. It's like it saves your frustrations during the the the, the losing streaks during the variance. Right. Mm-hmm. Like a blackjack player will use Kelly Criterion for, you know, hundreds and thousands of games over and over again. Yeah. You know, just blackjack hands over and over. And over. This is most. Most black blackjack count, card counters and stuff like like the MIT bros, they're using Kelly Criterion, and uh, and they don't care what happens on any given hand. They just take the odds, so they'll go right. through like huge losing streaks and they'll be fine. But they know that they're though those win streaks will be coming. Yeah, basically, right. No, like Norm and McDonald um, said the same thing. Like he yeah he would ask Norm McDonald would go yeah. to like he was a huge sports gambler. He'd go to like he'd bet the whole fucking board. He's like I yeah. will not lose every game. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just won't. Like I won't do it. Like yeah. and and. You know, and you'd he'd ask like uh, the guys that work at the casinos. He'd be like, "What's the most like losses you've ever seen in a day?" And like the most losses I've ever seen in a day, like the guy said it was like probably like six or seven. You know what I mean? Like yeah. of a guy, but like he ended up still fucking winning a couple. You know, yeah. and, and that's yeah, just, yeah. that's just at the end of the day, like you're not gonna be even if you know nothing about betting or if you know nothing about sports, like you're still like a broken clock is right twice a day. That's that's that probability like, again. <laughs> and that's yeah, yeah. you know that's like just a saying. Well, the other thing, yeah, exactly. Is so there's the there's the over optimistic problem, right? Mm-hmm. The worst that can happen is if you're over pessimistic, your account will just grow more slowly, but it'll still grow, right? Oh yeah. If you take half Kelly and your your if you take half Kelly, which which means that you're you're basically betting on your your yourself being too optimistic, so you're you're hedging yeah, against that. Yeah. Then your your account will grow slow. But here's the thing: is like with um, and this is where it gets like into even more advanced math that I'm not familiar with. Um, if, if, even if you calculate the perfect odds and you're absolutely correct on your odds mm-hmm. and you bet the perfect Kelly criterion percentage, if you get off to a rough start and your account goes into the red, right, right off the top, like for example, if, if you bet the perfect Kelly criterion, there's still, I think there's still like a 10% chance that you'll blow up your account, even if you bet perfectly. And even though the odds are still good, right now, most of the time it'll, it'll quote unquote correct. And you'll, you'll, you'll have that logarithmic curve right, right, right. going off into infinity up. If you bet thousand times, a million times, hundred million times, whatever. 
but there is a chance that you'll blow up if you, if you get off to a rough start. Right. Mm-hmm. So what the, but if you, if you go half Kelly, that, um, that percentage of blowing up goes down to like two, 1% basically. Yeah. So v- virtually impossible. Mm-hmm. So like half, you know, fractional Kelly betting is a way to basically be ultra conservative and never blow up. And, and the thing is though, but if you're betting, if you're sports betting for 10 years, you'll be a millionaire doing this. Right. You know, now the other thing is the variance, right. Where, well, or that is the variance. I mean, um, where, yeah, where, yeah, you're, you're, you're not sure when you're going to be hot and when you're going to be not, you can never tell what, which ones you're going to, so, yeah, you with, touch a bunch of different sports. You might be so the most, yeah, yeah. Even if you don't want to do this, um, like even if you want to do this all the time, what you should do, what sports better should do, yeah, take it off the screen just, share if you if you if you're not. Oh yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see if there's anything else on here. That's a, you know, uh, that that might yeah, be the see, advanced, but that's yeah. the advanced Woo! map. That, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that looks like a frat party. That, exactly. that isn't. This is where Nas- Nasim goes hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, whatever. Stay inside, Nasim. Yeah, yeah. But even yeah, <laughs> but even if uh, even if you don't care about this, whatever, what you should do is like at the end of every month or set time period yeah just go go back and calculate your your win percentage your hit rate your win Mm -hmm. percentage right and um and then also just eyeball how much of your account percentage you're betting yeah and you'll know roughly whether you're you're being too too wild or too um Mm -hmm. or too too conservative and like usually it's too wild you know Mm-hmm. And the thing is, it always works over time. Like you will, like if you're too aggressive, you will blow up, you know? Yeah. And it's like, so it's, it's not fun to keep loading from your bank account into your, no, no, you know, it's a hor- thing. horrible thing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you might as well just have fun with it, you know? And like, yeah. like I said, doing this for, if you do this for 10 months and you bet, you know, every day or every, every, every game day you're betting, you know, if you're in it for the long haul, are you going to blow up or are you just going to keep, like degen- degenerating basically de- degenerating. Yes. Well, the thing and is, you can, like, de- you can degenerate yeah, with the can. Kelly criterion. You can. And well, there, yeah, there are ways like with trading, there's like, I think people are, I think people can be too conservative with trading. Sure. Where, um, especially, and that's fine. If you have a fucking million dollar account, like I'd rather make 200 K a year consistently than like half a million a year with a chance of blowing up. Right. Like fuck yeah. that. Right. But you know, if I, if I got a thousand bucks, like I'm not trying to like make $500 a month. Right. For, you know, for, you know, I'm trying to trying to get that to like a sizable amount basically. Sure. So th- there are ways, you know, we could talk about this next time. Maybe there are ways of like hacking it and getting a little, yeah. little, little bit more, more crazy with it. Um, but most people aren't ready for that, you know, and y'all ain't ready for that conversation. Book. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. That's Kelly. And that's what's cool is like, you can always look back and see exactly how well you performed and exactly how, well, how much you bet and if they match or not based on this equation. I like to think of the guy and I saw his, his name was like JL Kelly or some shit. Like I, I just, I like to think of the guy, like the guy's wife getting mad at him for gambling. Yeah, he's exactly. just like, yeah, you don't know math. Okay. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Woman. yeah. Why don't you pull up a seat, my chalkboard here? Yeah. 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 And, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah but until don't, he was don't worry about how, don't worry about how shit faced yeah. I am at the horse races. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's <laughs> bourbon. Yeah. I'm it's doing bourbon. math. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, until he went to Vegas and just cleaned up and made like you know high six figures in the fifties in like a, yeah. a couple of weeks, you know. Yeah. You know, do you like your purse? Like, yeah. Yeah. How about exactly. that? yeah. <laughs> like, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to somebody who likes it. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Real quick, I gotta give a, a shout out because um, one of my one of our guys, uh, listener of, of the pod, and uh, yeah. um, he's in the betting Discord and my sports chat. Um, I won't say his name. He's down bad right now. He's down bad. He's off. He's on the schneid. They call it on the schneid hockey term, right? You're, you got, you're trying to get off the schneid, right? You're trying to get a win. Yeah. Um, so let's, tonight, let's get a GoFundMe going for him. Let's get a, yeah, he, he needs it. He needs it. Yeah. Um, so he's got Utah jazz, right? So he, he touched the LeBron for forbidden fruit tonight, which I told him not yeah. to, but that's okay. So what he did is the Utah jazz are favored by eight and a half tonight. He just took the money line. Like that's like, <laughs> he's like nothing. He, he, bet, he bet 50 to win 13. Yeah. And <laughs> Like right that's on. that yeah. no but you know what yeah it, that's all it takes sometimes yeah and like last night he lost he lost on the warriors uh my apologies it was an electric warriors win i don't know i hate to, yeah. I hate, to I hate to say it to you but uh yeah i know what that's like so 
just a uh, uh, shout out to my shout guy out. there. Got to yeah. Got to get that. Got to get that win. Um, like I said, um, also, like I said, I didn't think hockey game started this early. Tampa Bay Lightning. They're already up to nothing in the end of the second. Let's go. Right. One more Boom. period. No chance that blows yeah. up in my face. No chance. Um, yeah. So, uh, again, I will go oh, live. If, if the Celtics lose, I will go live. And I'll be mad. Yeah. Um, you You'll know, go live like, with like a broken webcam. It was fucking, yeah. yeah, it'll be like that cracked yeah, screen. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and, uh, yeah, I'm live. The ignition's running and I'm in the garage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah that, that's, what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, uh, we did have a new episode this week of uh, rare candy with Alex G. Um, that was really good. Make sure you guys check that one out. Um, next week got, got more rare candy special guests don't want to say it yet uh one that our listeners should be very excited about though tell you that much <laughs> and uh that one's gonna go crazy yeah um raiders podcast is going rock vegas slow time in the off season so i understand yeah. if you're not listening to that uh, raider nation and uh yeah that's uh i think that's it right boom We're good yeah that's it yeah see you guys next week uh on alpha talk all right guys it's a fun one peace